Hello and welcome back. We are going to do something harder now. This is question 15. Yeah, question 15. Now it says that uh, number 15, let's write if 2 to the power of x is equal to y. And now you have to express all the ABCD in terms of y. Express it in terms of y. When, when, when the question says express something in terms of of y, you have to understand what it means. It means that whatever it is, the question, you must make it equals to something y. That means the only unknown that is allowed in the answer is y. Understand, you cannot have other unknowns. You definitely cannot have x. Okay, so uh, here's how you do it. Uh, a is 2 power 3 minus x. So you cannot have x here. You need to express this entire thing in terms of y. So this is equal to something y. All right. So now the key, the key lies in this. You are given 2 power x is y. So you have to make this into something with 2 power x so that you can substitute the y in. So, so can you see there's an x here? You're going to break it off. This is, this is 2 power 3. Since it is minus x means it is divided by 2 power x, right? Because when the base is the same, you minus the indices, ma. Understand? So it's a reversal, okay? It's a reversal, so you reverse it. So it's 2 power 3 over 2 power x. Now you can straight away substitute. 2 cube is 8, and 2x is y. And that's it. You have expressed this in terms of y. 8 over y is in terms of y. Understand? All right? So let's do b here very quickly. b uh, is 4 to the power of x plus 1. All right. Now, again, the key is this. You need to somehow, you need to somehow convert something inside here into 2 power x. Understand? So that you can substitute the y. So it should come from the 4x here. But the first thing you notice is this. There's an x plus 1. So you've got to break this up. All right. You've got to break this up. <coughs> and uh, let's put it this way. You do the same method as here, you know. This is x plus 1, right? So it's 4 power x times 4. All right. Now, some books or some teachers will put a dot. The dot means times. Okay. A big dot, a big dot. Not your decimal dot, yeah. It's a big dot. So uh, I, I don't like it because um, it can be confusing to students. So I put a bracket. It's the same thing, yeah? I put a bracket. So this means it's 4 to the power of x plus 1, right? Because it's same base. So the reason why I break this up is so that I can further break this up. Remember, I want a 2x, 2 power x. So this is 2 square. So see, yeah, logarithm is a bit like magic. Copy the 4. Okay. And now I want 2 power x, right? So can I exchange place? Interchange these two. You see what I have done? Basically, 2 times x and x times 2 is the same thing, right? I have interchanged them. So I put 2x here and put a square there and there's a 4 out here. So what have I done? I, I have make 2 power x so that I can substitute y into this. So this is a y. This is y. Yeah, this is y. And there's a square there and 4. So basically, 4 to the power of x plus 1 would equal to 4y square if 2 power x is equal to y. So you have successfully converted something to the power of x into something in terms of y, which is what the question wants. Okay? <clears throat> All right, now if you can understand <clears throat> indices, it is actually quite fun because you're basically like performing magic and substituting things. Okay? Uh, right. Um, you know, when I say this, students actually tell me, oh, Miss Ng, how can you love indices? You must be a nerd. <laughs> Right, so <clears throat> but this is fun, right? If you know how to do it, you can change the form. So let's uh, move on to 15c. All right, 15c. 15c is 8, and, and there's a bracket 4 to the power of x minus 2. Okay, so it is still the same. Let's write it here 2 power x is equal to y. Yeah? All right, so now again, remember what is it that I want? I want to make this in terms of y, so I want to make this. If possible, I want to make this into 2 power x so that I can substitute y inside. Yeah. So the first thing that I notice, the first thing that I notice is that the 8 and the 4 can turn into base 2. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, well, you can actually ignore the, ignore the 8. I'm not going to do anything to the 8. You know why? There's no x attached to 8. The x is here. So I'm going to break this up. So I'm only interested in this. So 2 square. Okay. This is 2 square with a small bracket. That's x minus 2. 
Okay, I hope you can see this clearly. Yeah? See this? This 4 is 2 square. And this x minus 2 is this. Okay, I, I, I copy everything as it is, right? Now, now, let's do this. Open the bracket. This is 2 square and this is x minus 2, right? So this one goes here and this one goes here. Alright, so 8, that is 2, that is 2x minus 4. Okay, so now break this up. Okay, keep the 8 there. You don't worry about the 8 because there's no x attached to it. So now this is 2, 2x. Minus 4 means it is 2 to the power of 4. Right? Because it's minus, so it's divide. So we put it at the bottom. So this one comes here. Now you can do the same thing here. This is 8 over, this is 16, right? And then here is 2x, 2. Can you see this? I interchange the position between the x and the 2 again. Yeah, so I interchange the position here, right? So can you see now? I can now substitute the y here. Yes, so and then I can cut this. This is 1 over 2. And this would be y square. That's y square over 2. And finish. Okay, that is 15c. Now, uh, let's try 15d, yeah? Let's try 15d. I'll go through everything with you. Uh, but if you don't want, you can, <laughs> you can pause the video here and try 15d on your own, okay? Try 15d on your own. Now, 8 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of negative x, yeah? <laughs> Pay attention, huh? I know the negative is a bit small, the print out, uh, but, but the negative is there, okay? So pay attention. Now, same thing here, 2 power x is equals to y, right? This is what you're trying to substitute. Okay, so there's a minus here, so don't worry. There's an 8 power x and 4 power minus x, so you've got to break them all up into 2x. So this is uh, 8. 8 is 2 cubed, and the x is still there. Yeah? Remember, this is this. Minus 4 is 2 square. It's like this, yeah, because you're doing this. 4 is 2 square, and put the minus x outside. They're still there. So now, right, interchange, can you see this? Interchange the position now. There's a, pay attention here. A lot of students do this, yeah? They do the mistake. They see this is 2 and this is 2. And then they will go and minus the indices. Because they, say, they see a minus here. You cannot do that. Uh. This is a minus. So this is one term by itself. This is one term by itself. So what you can do is do this term first. You want to substitute y. So make 2x and then put the 3 outside. Same principle. Interchange the position. 2 times 3 times x and x times 3 is the same thing, you see. So minus 2. Now put the x inside. Look, uh, here's a technique. And put the 2 outside. But you do not shift the negative. Because it's 2 power x, it's not 2 power negative x. Understand? So it's 2 power x. So, so it doesn't matter 2 times negative x and x times negative 2 is the same answer. You end up with negative 2x, right? So it doesn't matter which one, which one comes first. Alright, now you may substitute. This is y cube minus y power minus 2. So now simplify this. This is y cube minus 1 over y squared. Okay? That is your final answer. Okay, so the trick, uh, the trick is here, the tricky part, the tricky part is here, the negative part. Yeah, remember that you interchange the x and the 2, but not the negative, so that you can substitute the y into here, 2 power x. Alright, okay, so um, I hope this has been helpful. We will do question 16 in the following uh, video.